Hello everyone. Uh, this is my first talky video on YouTube, so you can hear my wonderful Northern English accent. Um, subtitles are available. Um, right, okay, no, the reason why I'm making this video is to introduce uh, a really, really um, amazing tool, actually. It's called the Retro Image Tool and I will leave a link in the description uh, below and what it does is it will take any image that you upload and it will convert it into um, into so many colors uh, not too sure what they do there is some documentation online but um, yeah you can get spectrum and you can get um, uh, Amiga and Atari ST palettes in there as well. You can also reduce them down to eight colors, four colors, and two colors, or whatever. Whatever your little hearts desire. Um, and there's also some really, really cool features like uh, this global, global palette thing. I'll show you what that does uh, in a in a little bit as well. So um, that way you can uh, really enjoy it to its fullest. Right. So, okay. Um, oh, these are the different palettes that you've got to choose from. Okay. And these are the various reductions that you can pass it uh, your image through. Uh, and obviously save is self-explanatory. So, uh, I was just thinking, because this will work with any, uh, any image off the internet. So, uh, I was going to show you a, a Star Wars image um and um it's it's trying to find one that's half decent that isn't gonna bring upon the wrath of the internet uh or the Mandalorian you can't go wrong with that right okay let's check that Mandalorian righty so if we get something like yeah let's get that right and right click and copy image take it into Photoshop uh, your computer will be infinitely faster than mine right okay then so we need to crop the image I'll maximize it first crop the image now I've got it the width set to specific um, like a specific aspect ratio here so, so 320 by 256 um, and that will just help me get a nice clean image for the Commodore Amiga. So if I just put in way too much effort into this, there we go. Right. Uh, if I just do that, so we can see the bar at the top here, and right-click in the bar, go to this image size, and here, click 320. By 256, you could also do 640 by 512 if you wanted to do a 16 color high res list um, image um, on the Commodore Amiga. Right, while you're reducing, just select this, uh, select this uh, by cubic sharper, best for uh, reductions. And pow, there we are. That will do and save it now I'm, I'm gonna save it as a PNG Mandalorian POW okay here we go back to retro image tool we'll get rid of that uh, yeah you just click anywhere and it will open up your um, a selector so you can go to whatever folder, whatever, and then upload your image. It takes my computer a long time to catch up with what I'm trying to do. Right, so this is 32 colors. That's come out really quite nice, actually. Uh, I have uh, the checks uh, set to very high. If I click it to none, you can see how it will process it. Even then, that still looks pretty, pretty good. That's on 32 colors. So if we drop that down to 16 colors, there we are. You can see it's uh, losing its quality there but if you check it uh, if you put checks very high it, it you know it comes out really 
really quite nice. So let's put it back to 32. Uh, it gets all this lovely detail here. Uh, checks very high. And I've got it set to this palette here. It just uh, seems to be a nicer one. If I choose that, um, actually that's come out okay. I'm going to put it back to that one anyway. Oh, I actually prefer the other one. Look at that. That's come out really, really well. Right, we'll save that. Right, okay, so now that's saved as an IFF file um, for the Commodore Amiga. So I'm going to go to the folder and just for the sake of the way things are on my computer uh, and I don't want you to be looking through all my folders because there's all sorts of things in my folders that I really don't want you to see and no it's not pervy and if we load draw image Mandalorian that should, there we go, that's loaded in quite nice into the Commodore Amiga. It's got all the nice dithering effects here. I'll also show you what else you can do with the um, with the uh, dithers in a moment so you can see what else um, you can do with that. Oh. So if you to check Floyd Steinberg in case you prefer this kind of dithering and whatnot. So this would be great for if you're if you say if you you're trying to get a um, a, a uh, title screen together for your indie game for Amiga, say this is a really really handy tool for um, converting and um, you being able to use on the uh, on the on the Commodore Amiga. So say you could you you could use Photoshop to uh, design and draw something and then reduce it using this. There are other ways to do colour reduction, it's just this is a really, really good tool. Uh, one that I really enjoy using for um, playing about, really. And also a really interesting thing that it gives you here is at the bottom, it gives you this, uh, this palette information, which if you're, um, if you're a pixel artist, uh, if you click uh, or press print screen, and go to Photoshop, click New. Now I've got two monitors on so I'm going to have to um, crop this down anyway. And what this will allow you to do is if you select Pencil Tool and put the brush down to 1 and zoom in, you can now using the left alt click any one of these colors and start pixeling using these colors should you wish to do so. Now Photoshop is actually really really good for, uh, for pixel art and for animation also. Um, I, th I suppose I probably make another video showing you that at a later date. But yeah, so you can use the the colour information uh, from the reduction um, as a sort of colour pick palette that you can then use for your pixel art. This is also really really grand for uh, if you're trying to um, get a, a palette together for a, a game or whatever project you're working on this is really really good so say if you really wanted to get a um, like a woodland scene in you know, like an autumnal wood, woodland scene um, woodland scene and you'd be able to oh wow that's terrible spelling um, and then you can say grab grab an image And then using this technique, you can then get some lovely colours for your indie game. Okay, and I'll reduce it and whatnot, as before. That will do... Oh no, 
sorry. I'll just grab it like that. And best for reductions again, and then that will allow me to then load it into the into the website. Forgive my delivery of words and things. I'm not used to doing this. And it's amazing how um, self-conscious you become while you're making a video. It's really weird. Uh, right, so that's that. I'll make sure that it's loaded. Uh, saved. And click. There we go. Okay, there we go. Fingers crossed, and there we are. So you see, you get this lovely palette information at the bottom there. And you can use it like that. 16 colours, should you wish. Oh yeah, let's get that into checks. So then it just sort of comes out a little bit clearer. Also a really cool feature is the global, um, the global setting. So what that will do is that will mean that this palette oh <laughs> whoops <laughs> that didn't work did it uh, put it back to 16 colors sorry I clicked the wrong thing so if I click this right now that palette information is now um, I'm now going to be able to use it on this image um, so if I click on global there we go so it's got the exact same palette information at the bottom. Um, obviously, it really doesn't like this palette, this uh, this particular image. But you can do some really interesting things with it. It's a really, really, really good tool. Um, and yeah, so like I say, you can save it as a, a IFF file, which I think you can use also on a, a Atari ST. Um, what I'll do is I'll just put that back to 32 and put that back to that actually really really is a good palette crazy so yeah there we go and just four giggles I'll save that one and load that one in again show my folder, edit, copy so you can't see my files and put, paste that in there and load it in alrighty there we go and that comes out really nice, that's shockingly nice actually for a, for a, for a reduction that's 32 colours it's a really, really handy tool to, uh, to to use if you're making a game on Commodore Amiga or, for instance, um, on uh, Atari ST or even on, um, I think it's the Spectrum as well. You can reduce it down to a Spectrum. I don't know if this works. You know, on an actual Spectrum machine, that would be pretty cool to to see someone you know, try that one out. I've never tried that out. Um, but yeah, so you can use this tool for grabbing color information out of um, out of any image on the internet, forming a palette that you can then use um, in your game or if you need to make title screens, etc. Very, very interesting tool. So hopefully this is of some use to somebody. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Obviously likes are good, subscribes are good, all of that YouTube-y nonsense -y good stuff, that's all grand. Thank you very much. And if you found this video useful in any of your projects, um, please, leave a, please leave a comment below. And um, yeah, I will leave a um, I will leave the website address in the description so you can then uh, find it yourself and have a, a play about yourself. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, my emulator that I'm using is obviously it's WinUAE. So there we, there we go. I hope this, is, uh, this has been fun. And um, the Mandalorian is very, very happy you could join us.